Now, in this lesson, I'm going to show you some of the different icons located over here on the left-hand side in the toolbars. So if you ever need to search SketchUp, you would click on this. When you click on it, you can type in different things that you are maybe trying to look up on SketchUp. If you come over here, this is your selection tool. So if I want to select this mo uh, model right here, it highlights her. If I, uh, if I create something, for instance, if I come down here to the line tool, and I draw a line, and I go down the axis, uh, the green axis point here. I come up here to the eraser tool, and I erase it. It erases it. If I come over here to the paint bucket, this allows me to uh, paint objects. Uh, and here's a you can sample material as well. If I come down here to this icon, this line icon, I can create straight lines. I can also create a freehand. So if I come over here and create a freehand. Here, it should connect it. I'll also come over here and just create a line. Connect this. Just kind of playing around at this point. Go back to the selection tool, and let's say I want to make an arc. These are some of the different arcs right over here, and I will explain how the arcs weight, uh, work in another uh, lesson. So we'll come back to that one. Here's a rectangle tool. Um, this is a rectangle. Right here is a rotated rectangle. This is a circle. This is if you wanted to create a polygon, and this is 3D text. And I will show you how to use each one of these in later uh, videos and lessons. But let's say I wanted to create a rectangle. I'll come over here. I can come down here to the push-pull, make sure that's selected, and I can pull it up. I could also come over here and uh, use the follow me tool. I could come over here and use an offset. And the cool thing about the offset is if I were to click on that offset and come right here in the middle of this rectangle, and then I come back up to the push pull and I pull that thing up, now it's hollowed out. What's nice about this is when you guys go to create a shed or a house, we can actually create rooms inside of this hollow box right here. This right here, the outer shell, we'll worry about that at a later date. When I come down here to the scale, this allows me to scale things down uh, or move things or even rotate things as well. So for instance, if I need to select this lady and let's say I want to uh, scale her down, I hit scale, I can make her smaller, bigger, uh, wider, etc. I can also rotate if I need to rotate, and we'll worry about the rotate tool at another time. You can also rotate components when you start actually importing components. This, all, this allows me to move her too from one part of the screen to another part. This right here is the uh, tape measure. This is the dimensions icon, the text icon, uh, section plane, uh, protractor, and this is the axis icon and we'll worry about that in a later video as well. Uh, this is the walk icon, position camera, and this is the look around. And again, I will explain this later. And this right here, the rotate. So if I hit the rotate icon, this allows me to rotate around in 360, 360 degrees. If I go to the, uh, the pan, it allows me to go left to right. This right here is just your zooms. This is just your zoom, your zoom window, and this is your zoom extents. The zoom extents come in handy because if you get way out there and you go and you click on zoom extents, it brings you right back to where you need it. And that actually comes in handy quite a bit. Uh, that's it for this lesson, and we will move on.